The Adam and Wax Show, we're back after a one-week hiatus because my guy right here, the round mound of rebound, my boy Wack 100, had to be off in the no, sunny tell streets what I was of doing Miami. Is out. It's out. I know it's out. I was just listening to a little snippet tell on your Instagram. Who, when I landed, when I FaceTimed you, what was it? You were with 6 9 Daniel <laughs> Hernandez, and you hit me with the FaceTime, and you wanted to make it. But you told me even before you went, I'm well, going to. to make this song happen. Kodak Black and 6 9 it's happening. We got the money. <laughs> it's it's happening. But see, I had and to you did because it. we were scheduled to do our segment. Right. So I'm like, damn, I can't just call Adam and tell him I ain't showing up. So I got to tell him. And I wasn't supposed to tell nobody. I told Adam, I said, bro, when I land in Miami, I'm going to FaceTime you. So mm. you know it's real. Not that Adam doubted me. It was just a gesture of respect. So bro, no, I ain't bull****. Mm -hmm. And when I landed, because, you know, he picked me up all the time. So, okay, what was your conversation with 6 9 before you FaceTimed me? Because for the record, he basically just told me that he's the biggest Latin artist in the world and asked me who the biggest artist I've had on in the last four years was. It was a brief conversation. He didn't, so this seem, my conversation. He didn't seem like super hateful towards me because, for <laughs> full disclosure, I'm trying to get him on an episode with me and you. Okay. And I'm sure me and you him will argue me, intensely once that happens. But when I told you what I was going to do, right, right, because I felt as a business partner, I owed you that. I was a I little shocked, but I, you know, you seem super just, serious. I, I can't believe. just tell you I ain't, I can't show up to some shit. We just start doing, and you know that's just like bad business. So I had to tell you, bro, I'm going to do this. I've been working on this shit for months. So when I got when he picked me up, I said, look, man, what's up with you? Because you said, man, you know me and six, six nine really don't like me. And you right. told me you brought a few of the uh, New York people on here. The Dirty shit. Bloods plus his baby mama. Or whatever, and right? The, 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 a bunch of people. So I said, listen, Six, Adam tell me you got a problem, but understand, bro, he got to run a business. So whatever the relevant topics are, he got to talk to people about it. Mm -hmm. So he's going to say. But I went overboard. <laughs> I don't know. I still ain't seen it, right? Oh. So he go to say, man, I don't know what the so with Adam did, I said, well, I'm going to call him on FaceTime, and we're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I hit you, and I remember what your wife told me a couple weeks ago. I don't know what it is about you, Wack, but that answers your phone calls. Because <laughs> I ignore everybody else's calls. Right. That is so giving away my game, the fact that if you call me, I'm just not picking up. Yeah. So <laughs> when I FaceTimed you, Adam answered. You know, Adam always got this nonchalant shit. Nine in the morning, I'm Ooh. making eggs. I got whack on FaceTime all the so time. So he like, yo, what up? I say, look, he sees him. So he like, him and 6 9 start engaging in conversation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, I don't know. Y'all got to talk. 6 9 like, who's the biggest artist you had? Yeah. All this. You know, he going to flex. He's like, I'm the number one Latin artist in the world. I'm like, I don't know anything about the Latin world. So that's cool. <laughs> Long story short, that was the start of a 32-hour run. Okay, so you were down there in Miami just going nonstop? Why? Why? What, what, why 32 hours straight? No sleep? Straight. I think I got a crack house 45-minute nod. Okay. Inside of finger licking, because that's my boy spot. Pause. And, and uh, no, finger licking E-class. <clears throat> if y'all ass is down in South Beach of Miami, go to finger licking. That shit is incredible. It's fried chicken. E you remember E-class? The one had Flo Rida and all that? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Okay, so he got like eight of them, but... The one on the beach is great. Got a bar and all that. So I went in there it's and got- fried chicken? They got everything. Oh, it's lobster, like a full restaurant? Okay. Lobster, soul food, all that. I hear finger licking. It just sounds like fried chicken. So when I walk in, nephew in there. Okay. Uh, OT Genesis. OT he Genesis there, was with 6 9 No. He's Exposed. In, no. He's in figure licking, crip walking by himself. <laughs> I swear to God. OT is in there with a white t-shirt, some Nike shorts, with some Air Force Ones, Crip walking with a drink by itself. Because whenever I see OT on AD's Instagram story, that's usually what he's doing. So that's, that's good to know that it's not but just the that, story. Yeah. No, 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 that's him. You know, okay. I met OT stopping him for whooping somebody's ass before he the world knew he was. Was it DDG? No, 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 oh. no, no. How you know about that? Because AD and all of them talked about it on their stream one time. At the house party? Yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to shout hit out DDG, to DDG. too. I see the whole world against him right now. Who? For what? That's nephew. I guess it's just... I don't know. I think there's too much attention on him with his girl being who she is that now. He still with her, right? The, but like the evil girl meme pages on Twitter are like coming for him. Is calling he still him a, with her? Yes. Calling him a failed rapper and a loser and all. Like and it's nigga, crazy DDG, how, how intense DDG they're being. DDG and Blueface got a collab album coming. It's crazy. A whole album. Wow. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> but so, all right, you stopped OT from beating someone's ass? Yeah, that was back in the day. That was like 20 fucking 13 or so. Okay. But um, listen, so I get to Florida. I tell uh, Kodak I'm here. So he say, nap, um, I'm going to take a nap and wake up. That means five, six hours fucking with Kodak. Okay. Then it takes like three conversations because out of 80 words, I only understand about 17 of them. Uh, okay. So I got to go back because Kodak, Kodak be talking like that pig Latin type of shit. That Z language? Yeah, but he's talking some real shit. He's real intelligent. Uh -huh. You just got to catch what he's talking about. Yeah. So long story short, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I had to go get the money together because it was a whole lot of money. First he wanted cash, then he wanted a wire, then he wanted a cashier's check. Then finally I sent him a copy of a cashier's check, and he was like, okay, cool. So now at this point in time, he like, I'm on my way. And was that just a conversation between you and Kodak, or were you talking to his manager? No, I only deal with Kodak. I okay. don't talk to nobody. And how did you even initiate that conversation? Because 6 9 has famously been trying to get a feature with a top-tier rapper all you for a punk while motherfuckers, now. Wack has been saying repeatedly, I'm going to make a feature happen. Have I not? Oh, apparently you did. Yeah, right? The first feature could have happened, but politics got in there. Who, young boy? Yeah. And that, that didn't happen because... It did, young it, boy didn't have the stomach for it. No, no, no. It had nothing to do with young boy. I got a call from one of my elders who I respect, who asked me, you know, to go another way. Really? You got elders that are hating on young boy. No, it's not hating. It's just some people call me. It's a handful of people that, regardless of what I'm doing or who I am, the respect I have for them. J Prince. I acknowledge for them. Nah, nothing. Oh wait, you don't. Like Dude, him. We talking top dogs. Never we talking. Mind. QCPs, we talking the Birdman's. Hmm. We talking industry-wise, cat like Mike Kaiser, or even Gabby Peluso. So Youngboy really is blacklisted. What you mean? Blackballed out the game. He says he's blackballed. Fuck no, nah, man. You got Everybody... top dogs reaching out to you. That means that he really is blackballed. No, that's not blackballed. <laughs> okay. You do YouTube. You know what that man does on YouTube. Youngboy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he ain't no blackballing Youngboy. He got a coat and some other shit. Okay. So... Long story short, I go down there, and um, the first day I got to get all the paperwork done. Uh -huh. So I'm getting all the paperwork done, and everybody's signing. I had to meet with Fume. Fume Vapes put the bag up. That was the sponsor, okay. How I negotiated the deals, they got a great position because they own the Masters. Mm -hmm. They put a big bag up. You know, they did everything we needed them to do. So I had to meet with them. Um go over the particulars with them because they don't understand music. Mm -hmm. So I had to take the time to really go over everything so they understood it. Um, and then I left there and then I had to go meet with Kodak, get all that done. And then we set the time and the date. And, uh, you know, it was supposed to be like 8 o'clock. I seen Kodak by 1. <laughs> 1 a.m.? Hey, it is what it is. Hey, bro, you know, some things worth waiting on. Yeah, you got to accept Kodak that. Kodak pulled up. It's girl and his kid. Mm -hmm. that, just that? That's it. No security? No. Wow. With fire in his eyes. He get there. We go over everything. I give him the back end to his money. And um, he say, let's go. He have a, you know, a man-to-man -man conversation with 6 9 <clears throat> to let him know I respect Wack. Wack a business man. And Wack didn't let the world know he's doing business with you. So through Wack, this shit come together. Uh-huh. The man told me what he was going to do, and he did what he said he was going to do, mm -hmm. right? And they went out there, and it was great energy. Um, they knocked out these scenes. They sold loads. They got scenes together in the video. I don't know. Did they put the video up, too? I just saw the audio. I haven't seen the video yet. Okay, so they did all that. And then right before he left, shit, we kept it gangster. He came in a black car, and he left in a Rolls Royce. Really? Yeah, tossed him the keys, told him to go home. You gave him a car? I mean, Kodak left in the Rolls Royce. How'd he get the Rolls Royce? I mean, we tossed him the keys, told him to go home. It's love. Like here's a bonus car on top of your feet. what it is. He put his baby seat in that bitch. He jumped in the driver's seat. <laughs> the baby he put seat. his driver in the passenger seat, his queen in the back, and I jumped on the freeway with him. What was the vibe like between 6 9 and Kodak? Kodak, you know, he went into <clears throat> doing his shit. He asked 6 9 what, what was the... and um. He said it, and, you know, he went to the zone doing his thing. It was very natural. Like, he did what Kodak knows how to do. Kodak's been pushing this killing the rats movement. 
Yeah, I, I believe Kodak believes in killing any rat that rats on him and his circle. But you can rat on other people. He don't give a fuck. That's their business. Man, let me tell you something. I'm not finna do nothing to it. He ratted on you, you on the street, your people on the street. You tell me, dude ratted on me. The dude right there ratted on you, and you know he ratted on you. And you right here like me, why you want I ain't gonna do nothing. Mm. That's on you to do something. I mean, what, what do you think Kodak's justification for doing the song 6 9 was? You think that it's just, it doesn't Kodak affect him, song he doesn't what? give a fuck? No luck. It's business? <clears throat> or is it out of sheer respect for you? Sheer respect for me. Mm. And some business. Because I put something in front of him that was very, very, you know, well, niggas I, talking his big dollar shit. Amounts, yeah. Niggas talking his man. That's an understatement. It's like a line of the plug sex tape. You know, uh, you know. <clears throat> so I came to him. You know, they wasn't in the studio together when it happened. Mm -hmm. I met 6 9 before I went to a studio, got instructions from him, and I went up there and we did it. I went up to his studio in his hood. Popping on some shit, some gutter shit, gas station across the street. I mean, everything going on one in the morning. I have my cat with me. Shout out to my boy PK. You know, he run point on all my security down out of Miami Gardens. You know, I had like seven, eight zones with me. And shit, we went up in there and I, we made it happen. Mm. You think this song's gonna be big? Very big. Is there anything to stop Kodak from dissing 6 9 once the song comes out? He spoke his piece on the song. Did really? you hear the song? I didn't hear his verse. His first bars. Is what? Should we take a moment to listen to this? Let's listen to the, the song. Is the full song I can out? clear it. I, it's out. Right, I can go. clear it. I got some ownership in the zone. Why well, I can clear it? There ain't no problem. Put it up. Just went to That's see. promo. Here we go. It's called Shaka Laka. Shaka Laka. All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. You know what that means. That means you got to subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K. Let's go.